here in Van Nuys, California, the Cheyenne helicopter made its first public flight. And you notice, he'll come to a stop using the reverse thrust. John Fechner is slowing down entirely using the reverse thrust from the thrusting propeller. He's not using brakes. He now will show you some flexibility by reversing, again, putting the thrusting propeller in the rear in, in the reverse position. John will perform tight turns on the ground now, turning to the left and to the right. such as no vertical rising aircraft has ever flown before. I think it's interesting to note the stability that is being demonstrated here in this wind. going to do a turn about a spot, which again demonstrates the high stability and personal handling qualities of the Cheyenne. This stability is a requirement for the aircraft to put its tremendous firepower on the target. John's now taking up vertically to about 30 feet and will turn to the northeast as he descends and hovers. Air retraction on the Cheyenne adds many miles an hour to its top speed and also many miles to its range. The Cheyenne has the capability by using the thrusting propeller as is, he is doing now. He's applying uh, reverse thrust to the propeller and you notice the nose low attitude that the vehicle attains. This gives it an increase in the aiming angle for the fixed guns and rockets. He can get to 17 degrees nose low and approximately 20 degrees nose up using this technique. This is going to be a medium speed run, about 100 miles an hour, using the pressure propeller and watch her go up. Cheyenne will climb fully loaded right up to its service ceiling of 26,000 feet. This will be a relatively low speed pass, about 110 miles an hour. Uh, 
Army officials on hand at the Cheyenne's first public flight stated that they were impressed and pleased with the new helicopter's performance, adding that the Cheyenne will make a valuable addition to the Army's fire support capability. They also stated that the Cheyenne helicopter is scheduled to enter the Army's inventory as an all-weather, day-or-night fire support system in the near future. <laughs>